Hello and welcome. Welcome to our ceremony of full moon. My name is Lila Brown, founder of an organization called Crystal Weavers, and also the human participant in the creation of the Crystal Paradigm Realm. Today, I am near a small town in Minnesota called Cocado, and I am at a county park called Mud Lake County Park. During our musical meditation, we may see a little of the lake, but for now, we are nestled here in the center of four very large trees, each of them positioned into the cardinal directions. And so today, our ceremony will be taking place very near the tree that represents the west. West, as you know, is aligned with full moon. As you know, I like to start every ceremony with a tobacco blessing. In our culture, tobacco has been misunderstood and distorted for very, very, um, a very long time. However, the indigenous tribes of the Americas have used and worked with the plant medicine of tobacco in a ceremonial way for a very long time. They utilize it to represent um, peace and harmony and a coalescing between tribes and between peoples. Tobacco also has a wonderful ability to clear our energy field, release anything that is clinging to us that maybe, um, you know, is, is causing us a bit of harm. And it also is um, able to take our prayers to the spirit realms. For those of you who would like to abstain from this portion of the ceremony, you're welcome to just sit back and relax and we will get to the ceremony momentarily. Oh, tobacco, please take my prayers. Oh, tobacco, please take our prayers. Tobacco blessings. Blessings to you and blessings to fire. Please assist us now in taking our prayers to spirit, pure source, creator of all that is. Tobacco, please assist us now in clearing the energy bodies of the participants. I will first ask Tobacco to assist in clearing your energy field from your crown up through your Holy Spirit column of light. We're working with our super conscience. And so I will be clearing one more time the area around your head that is representative of the super conscience um, aspect of your being. Now we will clear down the front. A bit more down near your feet. And now I'll clear down the back. I'm gonna focus first on the back of your head and your shoulders. And now we'll go down your back. All right, if you will cup your hands, I will place the tobacco smoke into your palms and we'll ask tobacco to clear the portals in your palms. And now I will place tobacco into your palms and you can affix it on your energy body wherever you feel you might need a little more assistance. All right, just a little more general um, clearing of your energy body. All right.
right now, I will ask Tobacco to come through the video and assist in clearing your area there just, uh, just slightly to upshift the vibration ever so slightly. I have already created a safe and secure container here. We have lit the altar candle and I have invited Madam Moon in her full moon stage to join us at the altar space today. Welcome and join me in circle. During this entire moon cycle, we've been working with the intention of strengthening, engaging our imagination. Our imagination is in our superconscious. It is our innate ability. In the superconscious, we also have the innate abilities of telepathy and empathy, and we will be working with those in future moon cycles. Today, we talk about engaging and strengthening our imagination in very positive ways, in ways that assist us in being able to connect to our divine source. The imagination is a requirement. It's critical in us being able to connect to our divine source, to bring in the higher intellect and it works with our pineal gland. It brings the wisdom and deep knowledge into our higher intellect, which is um, triangular inside of our brain. And we need to work with our imagination in order to connect in that way. As I've mentioned before, in our culture right now, imagination is frowned upon. It's considered child's play, but that's just a distortion. Um, and so we really need to allow ourselves to engage that imagination, right? Engaging the imagination, allowing ourselves to expand beyond what is our material physical vessel. We need to be able to expand into a greater concept of who we are and our world and our reality. That is really an important part of ascending. To ascend, we need to be able to break through all of that rigidity that we carry with us and that is so um, reinforced in our culture. We need to break free of that rigidity and be able to move beyond and expand our awareness, expand our conscious um, abilities, expand and utilizing our imagination is really a very good way to, to move from our normal conscious level to our superconscious. We're actually in our superconscious quite a bit. Anytime you're coming up with new ideas or thoughts and things like that, you're moving into your superconscious. Doing so with intention and doing so with focus allows us to build that ability and strengthen that ability and know that you're not just here in this physical, uh, material um, world of yourself. You are much greater than that. From our conscience, we have super conscience and then there are additional levels of consciousness. And as we ascend, we have the gaining the ability of moving from one level of conscious to the next, to the next, to next. Each more expansive, each more um, multi-dimensional, each being able to look into the various levels of paradigms that are all around us at all times, okay? Now in full moon, we look to the west. We look to the west. This tree is actually representing the west. Thank you, tree, for being here as a wonderful symbol for us. The, the steadiness and sturdiness of it, it is actually not the most beautiful tree, but it looks like it has weathered a number of storms. The full moon 
and the West is all about weathering the storms. It's about taking what you've learned and owning it, taking what you've learned and setting down anything that is standing in your way of really stepping boldly into that which you now are. And so the West is here today to assist us with breaking through that calcification, breaking free of the limiting beliefs, breaking free of that uh, dense matrix that tends to hold us in such, uh, an, in such a hard space, okay? So during our ceremony today, I will be working with my metal bowls and we will be um, assisting you in moving from your conscience to your superconscience into your imagination and allowing your imagination to assist you in positive ways of calling in and understanding um, your expanded abilities, okay? And during full moon, all of this week, I suggest that you work on noticing when you put a uh, confinement around your imagination, when you come up against old beliefs or old patterns or false perceptions um, of our world and of our reality. And when you find those, find a way to set them down. You can gift them to Madam Moon. You can imagine that Madam Moon is a beautiful spirit who is sitting here in our altar space on the other side of the candle. You can gift it to Madam Moon and Madam Moon is very gracious. Um, she is a portal and she can then take all of that off planet for you. So all during the week, anytime you come up against something that is standing in your way, imagine gifting it to Madam Moon. Perhaps you put it in a beautiful box or perhaps you, um, you know, roll it into a ball and you, you toss it to Madam Moon. Um, the other ways that you can release is gifting it to a flame. Have a candle or a fire and just simply gift it. You can even write it down on a piece of paper and then burn the paper. Whatever works for you, find your way of optimally releasing things that just no longer serve you. This is a very, um, very important process for us. In order for us to grow and upshift, we have to shed those old layers. We're shedding energy all the time. We need to allow that to happen, okay? And of course, in full moon, and facing the West gives us a really good platform for us to do that. Another way to release things is working with water. Today during our musical meditation, we will be gazing out upon the water, watching the ripples, seeing if you can find the fish and in doing so, imagine that you're just gifting the debris, washing your hands of it, or perhaps even physically during the week when you're bathing or showering, just imagine that it's all being washed away down the drain and, and uh, being recycled, okay? Very good. Well, let's do our musical meditation, shall we? Sit back, relax. You can close your eyes if you'd like, or you can continue to watch the video. Listen to nature all around us and sink in to the beautiful medicine of the metal bowls. Metal bowls, please assist us now with our musical meditation. Thank you.
Pokeballs. It's time to come back. Time to come back from wherever you are. Time to come back in from your imagination. Time to come back in from your super conscience. Back into your beautiful physical vessel there. Time to come back. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Pat your body a bit, stretch. Knowing that you're completely back inside of your physical vessel. We'll do a bit of grounding now. First, we will be pulling our breath inhale into our heart space and spiral it there and releasing any debris that we might have shaken loose. Then we will go down to our sacred vessel and um, spiral it there. And again, set intention that with your exhale, you are releasing any of the debris that we've shaken loose there. Okay. Um, our physical vessel holds a lot of energetics, right? And so as we are breaking free of patterns and false beliefs, we have a quite a bit within our physical vessel that just needs to be released. And so we can do that really well with our breath work. We also do so with um, our digestive system, okay? So if you are suddenly feeling like you need to you know, um, run to the bathroom, that is completely fine. It's just you releasing some stuff, all right? So, first breath in to our heart space, spiraling it there, swirl, 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 and then exhale it all out, getting rid of that debris. Next one into our sacred vessel. Down into our sacred vessel and spiraling it there, spiraling it, spiraling it, and then we're going to exhale all that debris out. It's like we're cleaning out, cleaning out, cleaning out, vacuuming it up and cleaning it out. <laughs> all right, this third breath will go to the root chakra. So we breathe in through our heart, through our sacred vessel and into our root chakra. And then you can breathe at your le leisure and you can imagine that you're sending a tap root down a conduit of light. It can go down, 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 deep, deep into the earth, miles, hundreds, thousands of miles down. We want to get past the um, human influence. We want to get past all of the downfall world uck that is stuck in the soil. So we want to go down, down, down until you can find the purity of our dear mother, Mother Earth. Okay, so we're going down, down, down into the earth. The speed of light, it doesn't take long to go that far. So shoom, down into the earth. And then when you reach a spot where you feel her nurturing and her unconditional love for you, you can then spread out your energetic, um, kind of like the roots of a tree, right? You're just spreading out your roots and you are uh, gathering up as much of that beautiful energy of Mother Earth as you can. If you feel called, you can send some of your debris down that light channel and gift it to Mother Earth. Uh, she very much receives and can compost that. I know there are those of us who choose not to do that. They feel like she's already burdened enough. Um, and so you can just simply commune with her down there. And the purpose now of grounding is that we are literally grounding ourselves back into our physical vessel so we can stand nice and strong and sturdy like the trees, okay? So you sending that light down there. You can also ask Mother Earth if she's willing to gift you a bit of her energy and then you can bring that up and you can allow it to come into your sacred vessel. This is an energy um, compression unit, right? So it can take energy in and in and in and in. It compresses it and compresses it and compresses it into your own vital life source pool, right? The fountain of youth, the agelessness, the, the vital life that you need for your beating heart and for your vessels and for your cells, you need that vital life source energy. So we're learning to 
awaken that area of our physical vessel. We're learning to awaken and activate that power center within ourselves. And then we're able to utilize that as our energy storage so that during the week or during the day when you come to a moment where you just really need additional energy to stand up for yourself or build your boundaries or um, you know send out divine love and light to others you're able to garner that you're able to tap into that energy source and then you're able to um, you know radiate it out okay you're not sending it out you're not getting rid of it you're just radiating it out kind of like a light bulb uh, lights up and you're illuminating like a light bulb so your energy field can be big and bright and bold and sturdy all right so you may continue to ground when you're done grounding call that energy column back up and um, and then your root chakra is a sphincter, so you can close that sphincter down um, to a nice level that feels comfortable for you, okay? So thank you so much for participating today. May you have a fantastic full moon week. Please call upon Madam Moon at any time. Look into the West. Uh, frequently call upon the West and the masters that live in the West and ask them for assistance in shedding whatever you feel you are ready to release. All right. And I will see you next week in last quarter moon celebration. Meantime, I'm still planning to publish a video that will give you uh, the opportunity to exercise your imagination it is a guided meditation we walk out on a beautiful path and we come upon things that you can exercise your imagination okay so love you thank you for being here today blessings of peace-filled coalescence